What is this gray silver box in the back of every taxi in Dubai? My guess is for the taxi meter, cash drawer, or something like that. I've seen the first aid kits here are all with a green cross similar to Europe. What is it? It's part of the computer system that monitors the taxi and talks to the base. There should be some screens in the car and a little scanner and receipt printer. They plug into this box which houses the main computer part. This knife is serrated on both sides and curved at the end, found in a kitchen, serrated along the whole edge including the bent part at the end. What would this be used for? It's a grapefruit knife. Slice out the segments of the fruit and top with sugar. My parents owned one of these sets of serrated spoons and all. What is this cast iron tortoise? The shell comes off and back on with a small twist. I have googled for cast iron turtle and tortoise but they all have a solid shell, not like this one which is hollow and could hold something. I feel it's for outdoors or a fireplace. I purchased this today. Any ideas? It's a cast iron string holder. You put a ball of string in it and feed it out the top. It prevents the ball of string from rolling around. I was given this, and I have no idea what it is. It's a metal square box and has North Dakota engraved on it with a picture. What is this thing? It's a vintage mid-century portable ashtray. It prevents you from leaving butts. I have a New Hampshire one, and it's missing the little cigarette stand. I had no idea. What is this box with metal wires inside? I bought it at a flea market many years ago. The material is wood and is about a 15 centimeters cube. Inside is wood also, and the wires are metal. What is it? It's a mid-century musical Japanese cigarette dispenser. It's missing some internal pieces, probably repurposed as a jewelry box at some point. We had one like this growing up. As the bird picks up the cigarette, a mechanism inside the box strums the strings like a guitar to make a pinging sound. What are these two pots with metal rods that each have a chalk roller ball situation affixed to the bottom? No one at the estate sale knew what they were either. They are two different sizes but relatively small, about the size of a softball or small cantaloupe. They have rotating handles and lids that have notches to fit around the metal rods, with the chalk ball situations affixed to the bottom of the rods. Please help. It's a vintage Yankee fire starter. Back in the day, the New England colonists used these to get their wood fires burning without kindling. You fill the pot about halfway with lamp oil, and soak the pumice end of the stick in the oil. Use a match to light the pumice, stick it in your woodpile, and it will burn for about 10 minutes. What are these towers I've seen a few of driving through Ohio? They don't look like normal cell towers. I've seen a few of these along the Ohio Turnpike, and they seem to have satellites of some sort on top but also other equipment that I don't recognize. They're made of brick or cement. Any ideas? They are microwave relay towers, part of the AT&T long line system which was originally built starting in the 1950s. In the old days, this was the means to get high-speed data over long distances. I work on a lot of these towers doing cell work. My father before me built and maintained these structures. Unfortunately he passed away before I was old enough to work in the industry. So I never got to ask all my questions. What is this strange electrical device wired into the main supply of my shed's power? It has a copper line coming out of it, and main power going into and out of it, with no clear purpose. We bought an old cabin type house in western North Carolina a year and a half ago, and we've been fixing it up. The previous owner was an electrician, but liked to do things oddly sometimes. This wiring runs from the main home breaker, through the garage, and out to a shed workshop across the driveway which has its own breaker box and outlets wired. What is this odd black thing in the middle of that main shed supply? It's a 3M underground splice kit. A waterproof wire connector meant for burying underground. Designed for inline splicing of underground systems, joining of cable reel ends, direct burial applications, and repair of cable failures. What is this decoration in our Airbnb on the coast of Oregon? This item is made of wood and metal, and has a small hole through the middle of it, that looks like it could be an old fishing sinker. 
which is what we thought it was and searched for. But all of our results seemed those were made of metal. The hole that runs through the center is about half a centimeter in diameter. The wood is treated and very smooth. What is it? It's a cedar plug, a lure they call a plug for tuna fishing. Probably antique. It's a 100-year-old design that still produces big-time fish fights with tuna and other pelagic fish. What are these piles of bricks on top of this building on 705th Avenue Seattle, Washington? I saw it from the Skyview Observatory. My best guess is that it's to deal with the sway of the building from wind or an earthquake, but I was unable to find information about it online. What is it for? They call it facade access equipment, but it's basically for washing the windows. The weight of the concrete blocks offsets the arm of the swing stage, allowing window cleaners to traverse down without falling, due to the uneven weight distribution. What is this thing? It is aprox 2 inches in height with a base that's roughly 1 inch in diameter. It has a threaded brass base that says Pat Penn Bick New York. I was at my grandpa's today and this caught my eye, he has no idea what it is, and no one else at the house did either. There don't appear to be any gaskets on the threads, so it doesn't need to be air or watertight. I also thought maybe it was to put spices in as a candle substitute. It is made to sit upright, and it is only two pieces. Any insight is greatly appreciated. We found the exact one with the original art still on it, that says Rockefeller Center New York. It's a metal salt and pepper shakers, circa 1935. Bic makes lighters pens and razors now. I'm going to guess they've tried their hands at other random products over the years. What are these beads that seem to be made from plastic and thread that is not elastic? It's about 12 inches long, and the beads are brown and silver. I tried using the term religious beads when searching but did not find anything that specifically matched these beads. What is it? They're prayer beads known as suba. It will have either 3399 or 100 beads. They are often used by Muslims for the tasbah, the recitation of prayers, the dhikr, as well as to glorify Allah. What is this old copper circular box with a Latin inscription, containing an object resembling an orange-tinted looking glass with two concentric circles? The circular box is 6 centimeters in diameter. The inside of the box is lined with fine cotton. And it contains a small circular orange-tinted glass, encircled with a brass ring. The glass measures 3 centimeters in diameter. There is an inner clear circle of about 1.5 centimeters in diameter, and an outer hazy circle. It has a small sharp pin-like handle. The glass does not magnify like a conventional magnifying glass. It is pretty old, definitely from the early 20th century. Found while cleaning an old house. What is it? Please tell us in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.